I'm back again and today I'm gonna show you guys my everyday makeup routine I do the same thing every single day in my log get to see all my freckles and dark circles so leave me alone I know but anyways yeah so I'm gonna show you guys most of the videos probably gonna be sped up if not this video is gonna be like an hour long but yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you guys how I do my everyday makeup okay so first spray your face with fix plus all over Ooh. oh my god I look so bad anyways so then my first step is I conceal first so I'm gonna be using Clinique's um, under eye thing all about eyes concealer in shade 01 light neutral Okay, so once you have that all blended out, you do want to set it because most people just put their foundation like right on top of it. To me, I feel like that makes your concealer crease faster. So I'm going to be using the Cody Airspun Powder in Translucent. This is the extra coverage. Um, I also have the regular. Honestly, to me, they work exactly the same. So just go ahead and press that into your under eye like so all over and just press it press so it. now for my foundation I do mix foundations because I can never find my right color some are too yellow some are too dark some are too orange yada yada so I do mix the Maybelline fit me matte poreless in shade 112 with the Milani conceal and perfect in shade 01 I love this foundation and then I do put in a squirt of the Becca shimmering skin perfecter in I believe this is moonstone yes in moonstone so I mix all of those on a palette, stir it all together, and then I do apply it on my face. Okay, so once I've mixed it, I just rub the excess from the brush on, and then I clean that brush, and then just go ahead and blend it all out with a damp beauty blender. And as you can see, the shade matches me pretty well once I mix them all. And just blend, 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 blend. Okay, and then once you've blended all around your face, you do want to take it down your neck a little bit. The trick to blending down your neck to notice, I mean to not notice that you did, is just use the leftover on your beauty blender. Don't apply any more product. Just gently blend it down and you will look oh, like a goddess. <laughs> Okay, so then my next step is I go ahead and apply concealer right on top in my under eye area. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Full Coverage Concealer in NW15 under my eyes and a little bit on my nose and my chin, a little on the forehead. And then, sorry for my hand being in the way, and then I just blend that baby all out. Okay, so as you can see, that really did just brighten up my face. So then I bake again with the same Cody Airspun Loose Powder. And I just take my Beauty Blender. And on the side, I just pack that powder on. So anyways, my next step after baking, well I guess while baking, is eyebrows. I use the Anastasia Dip Brow in Chocolate. I just take my dip brow and I fill my brows in like every one else does. Okay, so then once my brows are on, they are a little bit thicker than my brows normally are right now because I need to get them done this weekend. But over top of that, I apply my NYX Control Freak and Clear. It's like just like a little brow kind of gels and then next I do my eyeshadow while I'm still waiting for my bake to sit because people do say you're supposed to wait like 15 to 20 minutes I don't know if I ever wait that long I just wait until I'm done doing my eyeshadow so for eyeshadow to I think we're gonna do like a simple look this is a super old wet and wild like how many is this one two three four five five so like not a quad what's five a quad plus one it is the naked truth palette you guys can if it'll 
Mm, it's not going to. But it's the Naked Truth palette, and I this love one it. all over my lid with a normal flat brush. Yeah. So that's why it is creasing. But yeah, and then once I put that all over my lid, I go in my crease with this shade and like a semi fluffy brush. So I just take that shade in my crease like so and I just blend that out. oh yeah and I forgot to mention if you guys hear like a lawnmower or an edger um it's the yard guy aka my dad anyways so once I'm about done blending this into my crease I take like a plain like there's nothing on it like a denser brush and kind of just blend all of that and then once I'm done with that brush, I go in with a pencil brush or a little dome brush, whatever you want to call it. And I take this darker color in the center and I kind of just draw like a V with it. And then I just start working on blending out that V. So once I'm done or decide I'm done blending that into my crease, I do take that same shade with the same brush in the outer corner of my eye but yeah so once I do that that is the basics of my eyeshadow and then I come in with my naked three palette and I take the same flat brush that I was using before and I come into trick right here and I just put that in the center of my lid and then I take a little bit of what does that say dust this one and I put that right in the center Ta -da! there we go then I take trick same brush again under my eye right in the center okay and then lastly for the eyes I take this was the brush we blended out with it has a dual end and I take the Ulta illuminating power powder in yellow diamond and I put that right on my inner corner like so and then once I'm done putting that on my inner corner I do take the flat side of the brush I like rub it like this into the powder and put it right there and then just blend it out okay and now to my favorite part is dusting off the bake I dust back over the whole face with a little bit of the airspun powder and then I dust it off with my Maybelline Fit Me in 110 porcelain powder. Okay, so then take your fluffy brush. This is the Real Techniques powder brush and I just go ham with my powder because this is what's going to keep it locked in all day. Like now to my favorite step, bronzer. So this is my bronzer. It has no name or anything. It's just from Walgreens, it's like a Pocahontas bronzer. I don't know. And then I use this Luxie 504 brush that I got in my, what is that called? Ipsy, in my Ipsy when I used to do that a long time ago. And I just go ham over and blend it down and up a little. Like don't keep it right in the center of your cheek, kind of blend the edges up and down a little bit and that'll make it look a little more natural and to contour my nose I do the same brush but I kind of just pinch it a little and just go straight up and down my nose. okay and then for br brush for blush I take the wet n wild um, I think this is their medium angled brush and I take the Milani um, powder blush in T Rose I feel like blush really pulls your look together like it makes you it helps your highlighter it highlights your bronzer all of that so put all the blush you want on your face blend that out just a pinch with the same flat brush that I dust off my bake with and I just kind of smudge it in to make it look natural not like a line of red on my face okay then for highlighters I mix Jeffree Star cosmetics in what is this one peach goddess and I take that one with like 
this kind of brush what is this just a fluffy brush and I just put that one hair all over my face I put that one right above my blush yellow diamond from Ulta and I take that on a fan brush and I just put that right on top of the Jeffree star I just highlight my whole face by the way so. yeah so then after highlight I do eyeliner so I think I'm gonna attempt to do that on camera let's see but so I start with like my outer part I line this part and then I do the outer wing and then I meet it to the middle okay so now that I have both eyeliners by the way I use the elf in jet black just the liquid liner but now I'm gonna line my lips and this is the lip crayon NYX lip crayon in nude beige and, and the mascara I'm gonna be using is Ulta's legendary lengths in black black I think is what it's called okay and so once I'm like semi satisfied with my mascara I have to wait like two minutes for it to dry and then spray your face with more fix plus I get it real good. and last but not least I think I'm just gonna do a clear gloss this is the minty shine um, normal gloss by Victoria's Secret okay so this is my finished everyday makeup routine um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, and subscribe to me, please. I will try to do one video a week, hopefully two, if I can. So please, please, please like and subscribe. Thank you.